There's a stiff breeze, but the sea is calm as we steam out of Wellington, New Zealand's capital. This is day one of a South Pacific voyage on the German research vessel Zona. On board the converted fishing trawler are geophysicist Jörg Bielas and a team of marine scientists. They're looking for an unusual substance. We want to find gas hydrates. These are ice-like solids containing bound methane gas. Gas hydrates may be important as a future source of energy. And from a scientific point of view, it's very interesting to know how a gas hydrate forms, how stable it is, and all about the dynamics of changes that occur in this material. The team will be looking far beneath the ocean surface. Methane hydrates exist under the sea floor, and there are large deposits off the New Zealand. Methane hydrate is frozen natural gas. It's currently estimated that there is far more energy locked up in methane hydrate deposits than in all known reserves of oil, gas, and coal. It may not exactly be the energy source of the future, but it will certainly help to bridge over the transition from conventional carbon fuels to other renewable forms of energy. On day two, the weather starts to act up. High seas are making the team's job impossible. For two days, no research gets done. Once conditions improve, the scientists have to make up for lost time. They cast out their surveying equipment, letting the instruments as far down as 1,000 meters. At this point, they're working around the clock. On day seven, there's a premiere. This prototype of a new remote sensing apparatus is tested in seawater for the first time. Its electromagnetic field penetrates the seabed to detect the presence of deposits of methane hydrate. This is what all the measuring systems would be used for to locate optimal sites for industrial extraction of gas hydrates and to measure them prior to expensive drilling operations so that as much as possible is known about the distribution of the gas hydrates. The scientists have nicknamed this pink device the piglet. But near disaster strikes, a ruptured tow line has caused some of its data cables to break. If we don't get the data, basically the whole thing was a waste of time, but that's a risk you have to take in deep sea research. Using scans from previous measurements, the team manages to create a map of the ocean floor, showing the suspected methane reservoirs. Some sites are unsuitable for drilling, because too much methane would escape. The powerful greenhouse gas would rise into the atmosphere. What we can now say is that these areas are undisturbed, and that's where harvesting could begin if enough gas hydrate is found. There are certain nearby zones where we shouldn't go to prevent uncontrolled escape of methane gas, which is a climate gas. Some would like to see the ocean become a repository for another greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide. Bialas wants to keep excess CO2 out of the atmosphere by sequestering it in the undersea gas hydrate deposits. The idea is to take the climate-harming CO2 gas from power plants and trap it here in the gas hydrate reservoirs in the form of a new hydrate. This is how it works in principle. Drilling is carried out into the methane hydrate deposits. A pipeline carries the CO2 from a gas-fired power plant to the deposit. As the CO2 is injected, it exchanges with the methane in the hydrate structure. The methane gas is released 
and piped to the power station. Advocates of this method see two advantages. It effectively kills two birds with one stone. It gives us a new source of energy and removes climate damaging CO2 from the atmosphere and puts it in long-term storage. It's now night 11 on board the Zona. For some of the team members, this is the high point of the voyage. A steel pipe weighing several tons brings samples of the ocean floor up on deck. The core contains remains of the eagerly awaited methane hydrate. Yeah, yeah. Here yeah it is. that's it. Yeah, here. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Here again. It's not much. It's no. not that much. It's just this area here. This. This is exactly what we're looking for, some nice big fat gas hydrate. Look, you can see how it's still bubbling and fizzing and releasing gas. For the research group, it's time to assess the findings so far. There are large deposits off the New Zealand coast, but not all are suitable for harvesting methane. We've tested some new equipment. Once it's undergone modification, we can offer it as measurement systems to users in, say, India, China, or New Zealand who are exploring methane hydrate mining. After 17 days at sea, a tugboat helps the Zona into Auckland Harbour. In 2013, Bielas and his team plan to explore methane hydrates again in an expedition off the coast of Taiwan.